so today we are discussing about zener diode as a voltage regulator or voltage stabilizer what do you mean by voltage regulator or voltage stabilizer the simple meaning is whatever may be the variations in the input output voltage should remain constant that is called as voltage regulator let me repeat once again whatever may be the variations in the input voltage if output voltage is constant then we say that this circuit is acting like a voltage stabilizer or voltage regulator let me discuss in details about what is this zener diode going to do here zener diode is going to work as a voltage stabilizer let me discuss about that so before going to discuss what are the patterns of voltage what are the patterns of voltage here input voltage is getting divided into two parts here one is uh, voltage across the series resistance and the other is voltage across the zener diode so input voltage gets divides into two parts that is voltage across the series resistance and voltage across the zener diode that's it so let me write the steps regarding voltages in the zener diode even though input increases the current also increases but the zener diode is acting like a bypass circuit by just bypassing the extra current coming out from the input but output remains constant that's it so this is the voltage across the load let me discuss here as these two are parallelly connected voltage across the zener diode will be equal to voltage across the load this is the point you have to remember hope you have understood then if you are going to discuss about the voltages input voltage will be the sum of series voltage plus voltage across the zener diode then voltage across the series resistance is v in minus vz this you have to remember now let us go ahead and discuss about what are the currents passing here in the zener diode so what are the currents here in the zener diode the series current which is passing through the series resistance is gets divided into two parts here because at this junction there are two ways for the current to move is gets divided into iz and il so therefore we can write here is is the sum of iz plus il but in the problem we have to find out iz so you can write iz is equal to is minus il and you all know iz is nothing but is 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 nothing but vs by rs and il is nothing but vl by rl according to ohm's law i is equal to v by r that's it it's very simple and you all know that vs is nothing but v in minus vz vs is nothing but v in minus vz divided by rs and vl is nothing but voltage across the load which can also be written as voltage across the zener diode and resistance across the load and it is said that the zener voltage is given as 5.6 volts so voltage across the zener diode is given in the problem as 5.6 volts then you can find out the current here v in minus v z this is a shortcut formula if you remember this formula then you can solve this problem in just one step that's it so v in is nothing but 9 and v z is nothing but in the problem it is given as 5.6 so minus 5.6 divided by r s which is nothing but 200 minus v z what is vz vz again it is 5.6 divided by rl which is nothing but 800 so you getting iz is equal to 
दिस इज गोइंग टू बी सो दिस इज थ्री पॉइंट फोर डिवाइडेड बाय टू हंड्रेड माइनस फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय एट हंड्रेड सो यू जस्ट लाइक एट हंड्रेड विच टू एंड दिस इज जीरो आई मीन दिस इज टू वन टू टू सेवन फोर्टीन एंड हियर एट वन टाइम्स एट सेवन जो फिफ्टी सिक्स so you can write 100 as an lcm 1.7 minus 0.7 is nothing but 1 by 100 which is nothing but 10 power minus 2 amperes okay and if you want to convert into milliamperes you can just write this as 10 into 10 power minus 3 Multiply with ten and ten power minus three, it will become the same ten power minus two. Why I am writing like this? This is amperes. This is ten, and ten power minus three is milliamperes. Is going to be your answer. Hope you are understood. So this is the simple method of making you understand what is a zener diode. Thank you very much.